Hello, today we are talking about the difference between firm and market risk. The other thing that we know of these risks is that we can call them idiosyncratic or systematic risk. Sometimes you'll hear systematic referred to as systemic risk. It's basically the same thing. But basically what we have here is that we have the difference from the firm and the market. Okay, so a firm level risk, that is an individual risk. Okay, that is the risk of just General Motors going bankrupt. Okay, General Motors goes bankrupt, and that is going to be bad for the stockholders of General Motors. However, that is not going to mean that the entire S&P 500, a broad collection of the market, is going to fall. Okay, it just means we have an individual company that is going bankrupt. Okay, now an example of market risk. Okay, market risk is when the entire market, systematically the entire market is falling. This would be an example of most recently of back in 2008 where we had a major recession. The value of, of all equities, most all equities was falling. Okay, so that is what we have is the difference there. Now, the reason that we care about this is because of diversification. Diversification is very important because we want to eliminate that idiosyncratic risk. We want to eliminate that firm level risk. The reason being is that if I am a, an investor, right, is that I don't want to leave everything that I have in General Motors, right? That's all my eggs in one basket, which we know we don't want to do. We want to put them in a number of baskets, and if one basket ends up falling down and breaking, right, company goes bankrupt, then it doesn't affect my entire portfolio. Right? If I own basically a thousand different stocks, right? because I have a, I'm diversified, I own over a thousand different stocks as well as some bonds and some foreign stocks, etc., is that when one of those fails, it doesn't really impact me very much. Okay? So what we have, and this is why CAPM itself is structured with the risk-free rate plus beta times a market risk premium. What we have here is that this beta here is that idiosyncratic risk okay and so what we're able to do when we have when we diversify in a portfolio is that we can't eliminate that idiosyncratic risk by offsetting it with another investment okay so example is if we have radio if we own radio shack and radio shack is failing is not doing well as a stock is that there's something else another company that is doing much better now right because they're capturing the sales that Radio Shack once had. And when they do that, that other company, such as Amazon or Walmart, their stock price ends up rising. If I own both stocks on net, I'm okay. Right? But if I own just one of them, right, is that I'm exposed to a lot more risk. Okay? So that's the basic difference between firm level and market level risk.